Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Yakusoku no Neverland, or you could call it the Promised Neverland on episode 9. This episode looks really simple, nothing much I might be able to give a lot of detail on, so if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Norman, we get to know his shipment date is already in place, and he will get shipped out tomorrow, and apparently that's bad news. And we see to it that Ray suggests that they have to allow Norman to escape um, the next day. But unfortunately, we see to it that um, when Norman and Emma were talking with each other, Norman decides to go grab a glass of water after what is going to happen to him. And apparently he is scared. I can't blame him. After all that he saw and after being hurt, things shipped out, getting ready to die. It's all going to affect the kid. Especially when he's at that age, etc. To make matters worse, we see to it that Ray and Emma suggest that Norman escape, but he decides not to do so, and they go like, Hey, man, this is not funny right now. After all that's been happening, we gotta figure something out, and they end up having to come together with a plan to try to escape together. But we see to it that Emma and Norman does ask Ray, How did you know about the secret of this house from the very beginning? And Ray explains like when he was a fetus somehow, he somehow remembers everything when he was from that time and all of a sudden when it turned black he ends up having to show up to a certain place whatsoever. So I guess he's one of those kids or one of those beings that's able to remember everything from the moment they were born or their or something, the moment they grew up, etc. So pretty much Ray has this freaking powerful memory thing from the moment he was a fetus up to until now is the very reason why he knows about the secret of the house and somehow managed to Stay alive for 12 years, etc. Whatever the case may be, we see to it that like um, that things are still getting a little tense for the time being. As they continue the plan with having to like him look into having to like have Norman look over the wall and then somehow try to make him look like he escaped after he destroyed disabled the d device whatsoever. But we see to it that Norman decides to go look beyond the wall and later on he came back around early evening, which is not even dark yet, or nighttime yet. And this upsets Ray a lot and says, what the hell's wrong with you? Why didn't you escape, or what the hell's going on? And we see to it that Norman explains why he didn't escape, is because on the other side of the wall, there is a cliff, a freaking deep cliff. And it shows that that's the reason why Norman can't escape, because they can't jump a cliff. It's far away from where they <laughs> From where they're at, etc. So yeah. So that's why Norman came back and says there was a cliff and he, he has dead eyes, dude. It was like it was all hopelessness either way. They can't escape and the only way to escape is through that other place. But whatever the case may be, it's gonna be very ugly. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Of course, this episode felt really deep and intense, or should I say gloomy and dark because of what just happened, but later on picks up by going like, oh, everything's gonna be okay after they do some scouting. The moment Norman comes back and explains this to Ray and Emma, there's a cliff. Oh, dear lord, there is no way out. <laughs> so, I don't know how these kids and all of them are gonna get, get, get on get out of there, but... They're already in trouble, that's for sure. So I don't know what's about to happen next. So until then, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!